Rise and shine, people! Time to start the day with another gaming backlog! We recently reviewed Chef RPG, and if you haven't watched it, the link is down in the description. Chef RPG really surprised me because when I first saw it on Steam, it made me think, oh, it's probably just another spin on Stardew Valley. Because there are so many elements that remind me of it. From the pixel graphics, the character coming from the bustling city to the rural life, interacting and romancing the townsfolk, Really can't help but think of it as another Stardew Valley clone. But that first impression made me think that when you think of farming sims, you can't help but immediately think of Stardew Valley. And yes, yes, I hear you people at the back screaming, Harvest Moon! Yeah, I hear you. You get your brownie points for that. But still, I think that Stardew Valley is the quintessential farming game of this day and age. And it has inspired so many game devs to create their farming simulator with similar elements. We all know that Stardew Valley's inspiration is the OG farming game, Harvest Moon. It's quite literally the first game that launched the farming life simulation genre. Yasuhiro Wada got inspired to create Harvest Moon, or Bokujo Monogatari, as it was called before it was localized, when he moved to the city to pursue game development and missed his old, quiet life in the Japanese countryside. After many challenges and even bankruptcy, Bokujo was finally released and got quickly, and surprisingly, so popular that it eventually got ported to Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and the N64, and was localized as the game we all know and love, Harvest Moon. 2016 rolls around and Eric Baroni, aka Concerned Ape, releases a game that relaunches the popularity of the farming sim genre, Stardew Valley. It was originally an alternative to Harvest Moon, as he personally couldn't find any other game that would satisfy his farming sim itch after finding Harvest Moon to be getting progressively worse as the new games rolled in. <laughs> Man, scratch that itch indeed. It quickly rose to popularity, and fast forward to today, it's still as popular as ever with every cozy gamer patiently and impatiently waiting for new updates and attending Stardew Valley events. This may have led to many, many iterations of farming sim games that many players might first think of as another Stardew Valley clone. Or is it just me? Is it just me? Oh gosh, okay, okay, I don't want to sound so biased. Oh my god, please let me know in the comments, please. Thank you. I don't know about y'all, maybe because I just heard of Stardew Valley more than other farming sim games, but when I scroll through Steam and see Fields of Mystria or Sunhaven or Graveyard Keeper or Apico, Apico? Apico. Uh, or yeah, even Chef RPG. I just think that they're all the same gameplay, just with a semi-different story. But upon playing Chef RPG, boy was I wrong. It had the same elements, sure. You're a city folk who comes to the countryside to take over the dilapidated land your grandfather left you and get used to living in a small rural town by making friends with the townsfolk while tending to your land. Or in this case, your restaurant. And instead of your grandfather, it's your former boss, Chef Kesto. Honestly, I thought that I'd have to tend a farm here just like Stardew. It makes sense, wouldn't it? You're operating a restaurant, of course you'd have a farm. But that's only a teeny tiny part of it. <laughs> you mostly just buy, forage, and hunt for your establishment. The main challenge is being a full-blown restaurant owner keeping your staff happy while at work, upgrading the restaurant of course, and the most important part, serve up some high quality dishes that people will want to come back to and recommend to their friends and family. I mean, how can you say no to these dishes? I mean, dude, they may just be pixel art, but damn. One look at that steak and my mouth is watering like hell. Oh my god. All of this is honestly so refreshing. I completely forgot my first impressions of this game and just fully immersed myself in the story and just making La Sequoia better. And if you want a more in-depth review of Chef RPG, our full review for this game is out on our channel. Again, the link is in the description below if you want to see it. Chef RPG made me think of how many games I'm missing out on just because my first impression of them is just another Stardew Valley-like game. Well, that bit me in the ass now. <laughs> Well, it totally turned me around because it was such a different experience from Stardew. Yes, some similarities are still there, but you can differentiate the two games from their aesthetics and overall gameplay. 
Successful farming sims like Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, and Stardew Valley left a lasting impression that formed an unfortunate bias against similar looking games that made me just want to stick to Stardew. But Chef RPG proved me wrong, completely. And while Stardew Valley may be the quintessential farming game of this era, there will always be creative game devs out there who can still reinvent the genre and make something fun and sometimes addicting out of it. Wada created Harvest Moon because he wanted to emulate countryside living in a video game, and Concerned Ape just expanded it to something bigger, leading to many more games that will emulate more things you would find interesting to experience, like saving an old restaurant, or beekeeping, or managing a graveyard. Thank you, Wada-san, we say in unison. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was planning on going back to Stardew soon, but after playing Chef RPG? <laughs> Pelican Town might have to wait for a bit longer. And that's it for today's gaming backlog. What's your favorite farming game of all time? Sound it off in the comments below. We love recommending games to all of you, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell button to be notified when we have new videos. This has been Shell, and I'm gonna tend to my restaurant now. Bye! <laughs> See you in the next one.